Now to another release of the Twitter files, an effort to reveal bias at the FBI and at the company itself before Elon Musk's takeover. Among Monday's allegations that the FBI pressured Twitter to suppress stories about Hunter Biden's laptop, which allegedly contains evidence of corruption tied to President Biden. This is the seventh installment of Musk's campaign to shine a light on anti-conservative censorship. And Tom Dempsey has the latest details. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Mitch. Yeah, the man behind this latest Twitter files release spoke first right here on News Nation about some of the concerns he has, has with these findings. The latest Twitter files release all revolving around how the FBI allegedly pressured Twitter to suppress a story all dealing with Hunter Biden in the weeks leading up to the 2020 presidential election. The FBI uh, alleging that the story was all part of a Russian leaking or hacking operation despite Twitter staff saying there was really no evidence to back up those claims. Journalist Michael Schellenberger posted the series of tweets on Monday, focusing on a 2020 story from the New York Post that described emails found on Hunter Biden's laptop dealing with overseas business dealings and connections to then Vice President Joe Biden. With this latest Twitter files report, Schellenberger claims the FBI pressured Twitter about the laptop story being a, quote, Russian hack and leak operation. He shared Shares alleged quotes from the FBI casting doubt on that claim, though. One agent saying, through our investigations, we did not see any similar competing intrusions to what had happened in 2016. He also shares quotes from Twitter staff about the ongoing pressure from the FBI, with one member writing, quote, we haven't yet identified activity that we typically refer to you or even flag as interesting in the foreign in influence context. Schellenberger also notes how several former FBI members worked at Twitter during this time and even created their own private Slack channel for new FBI arrivals. Schellenberger claims all of this led to the story successfully being suppressed on Twitter before the 2020 election. Schellenberger spoke on Cuomo here on News Nation just last night about the impact of this FBI push. Take a listen. You know, what's so amazing is how many FBI folks were in Twitter but once we had these internal emails, the internal Slack messages, the, the direct messages inside the company, you can see that there was a concerted effort, in particular by the former general counsel of the FBI, to really kill off the story, really claiming falsely that it was a result of Russian disinformation when, of course, Twitter, or maybe not, of course, Schellenberger went on to say that he believes there's a need for a congressional investigation looking into the alleged politicization of the FBI. Mitch, Adrian. All right, so besides that, Tom, what other explanations does Schellenberger say that there are about this effort to suppress the Hunter Biden story? Yeah, this was an interesting allegation coming from Schellenberger. One tweet mentioned how the FBI allegedly paid Twitter over $3 million for all the time Twitter spent, uh, Twitter staff spent processing requests from the FBI. Schellenberger believes, you know, payments like that uh, helped this pressure campaign uh, that led to the Hunter Biden story, you know, being suppressed on Twitter. So, you know, these Twitter files continue to aim at, you know, you know, exposing what happened behind the scenes at Twitter. So we could see more of those uh, in the future, Mitch. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.